Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you're passionate about skincare and seek products that are effective yet affordable then this is the channel for you. So please do make sure you subscribe down below and join our little skincare family and also please do give this video a massive thumbs up because it really does help me out. And so without further ado let's get on to today's video. And welcome to day three of six days of their skincare reviews but don't worry if you are just joining us now. These videos are in no particular order and I'm creating a playlist as I go along. So sit back relax and enjoy Verge to get some brutally honest reviews. And today we are reviewing the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum where Verge market this product to be perfect for stressed and breakout prone skin that just needs to chill the F out and breathe. It's also perfect for people looking to tackle pores, excess sebum and calm inflammation of the skin. Wow, that is a lot of build up and hype just for one single product. So what's inside this 30ml bottle which can target all of those skin concerns? Is this magic in a bottle that we've all been looking for? Well actually 39% of consumers recommend this product which is a big number. Priced at £18 or $20, the formula consists of glycerin, which is the second ingredient after water, and so the glycerin is a fantastic humectant for skin moisture and also healthy skin barrier. And the third ingredient is niacinamide, which so many of us know and love. And niacinamide can help reduce the likes of hyperpigmentation, dark spots, calm inflammation of the skin. It can also really help to regulate the sebum production and also, fantastically enough, actually help speed up the epidermal growth cell cell fat <laughs> which is also known as anti-aging and then moving on to the fourth ingredient which is willow bark extract and this actually has sort of some soothing properties in there but it's also had that misinformation of comparing it to the benefits of salicylic acid however there's actually not enough research and scientific backing in regards to that so if you ever see that it can mimic the bha qualities then Mm, questionable. And then the fifth ingredient is zinc gluconate which is actually used for its antimicrobial and antibacterial properties as well as sort of helping to regulate the sebum production um, when applied topically onto the skin. And then following on from zinc is sodium hyaluronate which is actually the salt form of hyaluronic acid. And now yesterday when we reviewed the dew point moisturiser I discussed in that video the different molecular weights um, in terms of sodium hyaluronic to hyaluronic acid and now over the past 24 hours since you know doing that video and uploading it like scheduling it to be published which you would have seen yesterday because I work a day in advance for these videos <laughs> um, and actually there's a lot of conflicting reports and research out there on the internet in terms of the different molecular weights of both ingredients and now you, all you sort of really need to know is like sodium hyaluronate is the salt form of hyaluronic acid and it's used in formulas more widely than hyaluronic acid because sodium hyaluronate is actually sort of um, easily formulated into skincare products than hyaluronic acid is. And I have put an update of my readings in that video's description box if you guys want to check it out. And salicylic acid is another star ingredient in this formula where it's really helped to target like blackhead and breakout prone skin, really sort of decongest those pores and help clear them out. And also is really good at sort of like smoothing the texture irregularities on the skin. And I have personally asked first or what percentage they use of salicylic acid, niacinamide and zinc in this formula. However, I am still waiting a response. So once I do get that response, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll leave it in the description box down below for you guys. You'll also find in this formula panfenol, which is great for moisturising the skin, caffeine for its antioxidant benefits and also biotin to help smooth out the skin. However, these ingredients fall towards the bottom of the ingredients list. So you won't really get like that many benefits from them. They're just sort of like fillers for the product. So all in all, the ingredients list is actually actually really really good. You have an abundance of skin loving properties which actually relate to the purpose and the marketing of this product. No fragrance, no alcohol fillers, nothing bad, just really effective ingredients for your skin. And hopefully the percentages of salicylic acid and zinc lie between 1 and 2% and niacinamide lies between 5 and 10% and then that would be a solid formula. But we'll just have to wait for Verse to get back to us on that one. And on application of this product it was really nice and gentle and it didn't sort of have that overly drying effect that some niacinamide products can have on the skin and um, so they state that you use about two to three drops of this product and then gently pat it onto your skin and neck and then wait around two to three minutes before you follow with another serum or a moisturizer and I think this is a really really great product for anybody wanting to introduce niacinamide into their routine or for the likes if they've been using the ordinary niacinamide and their skin sort of doesn't really like it because either the niacinamide or zinc in there is too potent for their skin and obviously depending on the different percentage of niacinamide, zinc and salicylic acid in there. I generally think this is a fantastic formula, even though yes, it is priced 
priced at £18.20, whereas the Ordinary, you know, offer this for like £5.50 or £5 or something similar around that mark. Um, so you are paying more, but for the formula of this product, I think it's actually pretty decent. And what I love about this is the conversation starters in how to recycle the products and the packaging. And I think that is definitely a step in the right direction and more skincare brands really need to push for that and sort of be environmentally conscious and sort of reduce the waste of their products. And I hope you've enjoyed this product review. Please comment below your thoughts on this product or even if you've tried it out. I will also leave links to the Viz website down below and also Cult Beauty from where I got this product from. Unfortunately, Cult Beauty have sold out of this product, but if you put it in your email address on that page, then you can be the first to be notified when it comes back in stock. So yeah, just let me know because it's an exciting product and it actually really does deserve the hype. So thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for day four of this skincare. <laughs>